So, you don't think Air Khan was there when it happened? No. No, I don't. All right, so what then? I didn't know him personally, but I've heard people talking throughout the years. He wasn't the bravest of men before the outbreak. Well, I did find him in a cellar. You think he was hiding the whole time? Well, I didn't say that. It's possible, though. Well, that's... It's hard to believe. What's hard to believe? That someone wouldn't want to die when he doesn't stand a chance in a fight? That someone would abandon his family, his, his loved ones, in a situation like that. I don't know, Kyle. I wish I knew what I really think about this, but I don't. But I don't know. I don't have an opinion. Just, would you? I would really like to think for a while. Alone. Oh, Aircon. It's good to see you here. So, how's she doing? Still not responding, but I think she's getting better. Yeah, it looks that. And how are you doing? I'm, uh... Oh, I didn't even have a chance to thank you yet. Sorry for before. I was in shock. I didn't think. Thank you. Thank you for saving me there. Yeah, well, I've, I've faced a lot worse recently. I'm glad I could help. I wish I was like you, but you can't teach an old dog new tricks, can you? I need to focus on her right now. She's the only bit of my old life I've got left. Shit, sorry, I, I didn't think there was anybody in here. I'll bet you didn't. Thieving little some bitch. Hey, well, relax. It's not like that. I was just looking for some parts to fix up my ride. I wasn't gonna steal anything. If it's parts you want, it's parts you can damn well buy. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. Good to meet you, Kyle Crane. Now listen here. These parts is mine. You want some? I'll sell you some. But ain't nothing for free. All right, understood.
I'm stuck in this place with my two kids. We won't survive on our own. We're in danger. Please help us, anyone. <laughs> Is that you, Crane? It's not him. Why would he even be out here? Look, it is him! Crane! You remember me? It's Fatim. And Tolga. We're on the deer blind. Uh, can you see us? See, Tolga? Told you it was Crane. Are you sure? He looks weird. He always looks weird. Crane, we did it! We flew! But not with the jetpack. But we found a plane instead. Almost in good condition. Had to make a few adjustments to it. And the gasket broke. All the oil leaked out. The engine seized up. We had to jump out. But Mr. Dahl, our boss... Whoosh! He flew all the way to the west. You have to find him, Crane. But you two actually care about someone else. Oh, you wound us, Mr. Crane. Also, Mr. Dahl is a billionaire. He'll make us rich. All right. How am I supposed to find him? Simple. Mr. Dahl has a transmitter in his backpack. That's our insurance. You know, in case he tried to screw us over. Can't trust anyone, you know. Take that tracking device. The beeping will be faster the closer you are to the transmitter. And when you get back, we'll tune this tracking device so that you'll be able to find other things. Tolga, tell you. Everything that's chipped, Crane. And these days, a lot of things are chipped, aren't they? Military equipment, for example? But first, Mr. Dahl. Go for it, Crane. You can do it. We believe in you. You have to say.